Hey, welcome back to yet another video on usage of social networking sites. But this time it's a little different. I thought to make this video a little more informative. So I thought to tell you about a good platform for executing your codes and introducing you to some basic libraries. So let's get started. Firstly, I am going to introduce to a introduce you to a environment called Google Collab. This is an environment in which I work. So, uh, when we click on file, here a new notebook option comes, and when we click on that, a new notebook appears on which we work. Secondly, here is open notebook. The notebooks which you have already made. These are automatically saved to your Google Drive and of course in that platform. So when you click on the open notebook, a set of notebooks appears by which the name you have saved. So you can click on that notebook and of course open your respective notebooks. Here this runtime means if you want to run all cells, click on run all. Then if you want to run a selected cell, Click that cell and then you can run the respective cell. From here, you can share your this notebook with anyone. Like it's giving a link, copy link, and then you can share your notebook with anyone. Now let's move towards the basic of data science and some basic libraries. So the first one on our list is NumPy. NumPy is an open source numerical Python library. It contains a multi-dimensional array and matrix data structures. It can perform various operations like mathematical, trigonometrical, statistical and many more. I will cover this in detail after my further videos. Next, we have Pandas library. Pandas is a library used for data manipulation and data analysis. It is a fast, powerful, flexible, and easy to use open source data analysis library. Okay, so in our first cell, I have mentioned import NumPy as NP. This means we are importing the NumPy library with a short form named as NP. Secondly, import pandas as PD. It means we are importing pandas library with a short form of PD and third I had used Plotly Express library. I will discuss it in further videos. So we are importing Plotly.express as PLT. Now in the second cell I have mentioned DF. DF we have given DF name to our data frame whatever data we have used. So the syntax for reading a data is DF is equal to PD. Here PD refers to the short form of the pandas library pd.read csv now what is csv csv is a comma separated value file in which we use commas to separate a value and in the brackets i mentioned my name of the data next we i had written df df singly df is used to uh, represent all the data Whichever I had stored in my file name indiausage.csv. So my this file contains two columns apps and usage. Next I have used plt.bar. It is a syntax for making a bar plot using the Plotly Express library. So plt we have used a short form for plotly.express library. So plt.bar, bar refers to the bar plot. Then df, df is the name of our data frame. In x axis, we want to name the apps and in y, we want to name the usage. Then I used color is equal to apps. Here I used a different colors for all of the apps. And if you want, you do not mention this. Then all of the bars which are shown here will represent a single color. And text is equal to usage. I want to, I want to see that how much population use which social networking site. 
So I want to represent this number on the top of my bar. So I use text is equal to usage. So in this plot, I'm going to tell you about the different apps which are used in India and how much of users use the respective app. So first we have WhatsApp with 340 million users, followed by Facebook 290 million, Instagram 100 million, LinkedIn 69 million and Twitter with 17 million. So I hope you all got to learn a little about the libraries which I used and of course the environment which I prefer for using this. This is all for this video. Let's meet in the next video with some more social networking sites and the usage of different social networking sites. Till then, thank you and bye-bye.